Okay, uh, I told you at the start of the show that Nigeria and Zambia, they have clashed 17 times. Yes, at friendlies and um, uh, competitive uh, matches to that uh, figure. Nigeria have won seven, Zambia have won five, and then five of those 17 encounters have ended in draws. So uh, the records look good for Nigeria, uh, but when you look at the head-to-head, -head, uh, seven to five. Ah, that's close. close. It looks very close, but one thing again which I will look back at talking about numbers, is that we have not lost a World Cup qualifying in the last 34 games. This is going to be the 35th World Cup qualifying game, and I do not see us losing <laughs> against the side. We have a superior head-to-head -head against. Yes, it is close, but the last time we played in, Af uh, in AFCON 2013, I think it ended in a draw. Uh, that was the second match, yes. of, uh, the, second uh, match of the Of the tournament, of yes, the... and then before we went on to win the last one, game of the one, tournament. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, yes, they, they, they have the capacity to, you know, uh, give us a rude awakening once in a while. But Nigerians can also flash back to 1994, where we defeated them to win the okay. Africa Cup of Nations. Mm. So, yes, everything looks like it's going to be first, it's going to be close. I do not expect a very convincing score like a kind of 4-0. Mm. If it comes, of course, it's a plus. The guys know that they just need to grant a win, any kind of win, and we are true. They are looking at our defense. We've only considered, uh, we've only kept a clean sheet once in the last five competitive games, and that's a cause, to co uh, cause for concern and, or to worry. But on the other side, we equally yeah. haven't failed to score in those last five games. Apart mm -hmm. from the game we, we, against South Africa, yeah. we have scored at least two goals in every game we've played, barring, of course, the one all draw uh, yeah. in Cameroon. So we equally look like, yeah, we can concede, but it's mm. been a case of we can score more than you can yeah. score against. Yeah. Like Fred said rightly mm. the other time in his opening, that he sees it as whoever scores more goals, of course, going to win. If I get to Alfred, let me just read through some of uh, uh, those head to head records. Um, at the 1974 AFCON qualifier first leg playoff, Zambia crushed Nigeria 5 1. I was going to say that's 1974. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> but it's in the records. Uh, 1974, in the second leg, Nigeria clapped back, but it was so close. Nigeria won 3 2. Uh, at the 1978 AFCON group phase, both teams played goalless, so it's that it's that tight between both sides. It's that tight. Um, 1981, it was an international friendly. Zambia defeated Nigeria 3-0. Uh, 1982, African Cup of Nations group stage. Zambia three again. Nigeria zero. 1980, 1970, Zambia was taking it. <laughs> 1986, African qualifier first leg playoff. They played goalless, both sides. Share the spoils. Zambia won, Nigeria zero. That's 1986 AFCON qualifier. Guys, can you see from all of in all of these, you can tell that uh, they were superior. 1990, yes, we arrived. Nigeria two, oh, Zambia zero. AFCON semi-final. 1990. Uh, a certain John Suku, um, mm. uh, mm. a scored in that game. Off he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was in that, that's was right. in that squad. That's right. Okay. Uh, more on the, on the head to head, uh, Nigeria 2, Zambia 1, 1994, AFCON final. Tolu so mentioned that one. And then Zambia defeated Nigeria 2-0, 1997, international friendly. It's all about the head to head record. Uh, Zambia 2, Nigeria 0. That was in an international friendly game. Uh, first leg that was played in 1997. Uh, in that same 97. They played another friendly that ended goalless. Uh, at the 2002 AFCON qualifier group stage, uh, Nigeria defeated Zambia by a single goal. Zambia won, Nigeria won, 2002 AFCON qualifier. Uh, it was group stage also. And then this one I remember clearly Nigeria winning 5 4 penalties uh, against Zambia at the 2010 AFCON quarterfinal. Vincent Tenyama uh, did, the, did the magic in that one and when he stopped Thomas Yurinda's uh, kick. And then he sent, he stepped up and then sent out uh, Kennedy winning the, the, long, the wrong way. So uh, that one, Nigeria won. Nigeria won Zambia again, 2-0. Uh, it's an international friendly match in 2011. That was in Kaduna. That's right, that's right, that's right. Our friend. Zambia went on to win the AFCON in 2012. There you go, there you go. And they were saying, <laughs> what, what, what did they come to get from us? They came for a friendly to you play know? for a Because we didn't qualify for that 2012 yeah. nations. Mm. We came here for a friendly. And then at the AFCON 2013, uh, Nigeria and Zambia, we mentioned that one very recent. I played one. One one, and then um, on October the tenth, twenty sixteen, last year, Nigeria traveled to Ndola to beat Zambia two one. So Tolu, you see, um, it's not so far off, but uh, in recent times, you can tell that the Super Eagles did the job when they needed to. Yeah, the momentum, you know, 
changed hands, mm. unlike what we had in the 70s and 80s, where yeah. <clears throat> they completely dominated the games. That's right. You know, some really embarrassing 5 0 <laughs> scorelines. <laughs> but when the tides turned, and one thing that we should note also is the fact that the Zambians do score goals. Mm. And they have been very, very solid defensively. They haven't considered a lot either. And I think the fact that they have injected a lot of their uh, previous under-20 players yeah. into the squad means that they are mm. a lot more energetic. Peace. Those boys can walk the socks off and get things done as the coach wants it. That's right. And that will be a very, very difficult thing for us to cope against. But of course, mm. we have Let the experience.